Hello, Randall here. We've got our June loot crate arrived in the mail today. So I'm very excited, especially after the hash that I made of last month, since I didn't recognize half the crap in there. Felt like a very old dude right at that moment, let me tell you. Because it just was not my generation of geekdom. All right, so first thing we have, straight out of the box here. Once again... Not really my generation, but still pretty cool. And black, which is a bonus, because I like black. Probably couldn't tell that from the t-shirt I'm wearing today, which is Count Von Count. Uh, we have... Uh, this, the theme this month, by the way, is cyber. So, it's going to be all about robots. But we have an Optimus Prime t-shirt. It says Prime down there at the bottom. So, we've got... Even though I'm not real a real big Transformers fan, absolutely hated the movies for the most part. Uh, never watched the cartoons, never read the comics. I know who the Transformers are because they were right after my generation. So people, you know, five years younger than me were into them. And this is a very cool t-shirt. It actually has kind of a Tron vibe to it. So I'm going to turn that inside out so that when I wash it, it doesn't get yucked up. Let's see what else we have here. We have... Uh, Oh, that's neat. What is that? A half-scale endoskull from Terminator Genesis. So I've got me basically a Terminator skull. Let's see if it does anything. I think the eyes probably light up because without his red eyes, the Terminator is just not so intimidating. Let's see what we got. Taking him out of the package here. They never want you to get into these things. Nope. Don't see a place for a battery or anything. Just a little plastic Terminator skull. Still pretty cool looking. Alright, so we've got our Terminator skull. We'll put him back in his plastic home for now. Other way. There we go. Kind of just a cheap little fun prop replica. Okay, now we have a... Uh, huh. I'm going to have to look at my my little booklet that comes with the Loot Crate every month because I have no freaking idea what that is. It's a couple of owl eyes over a trident is what it looks like to me, and it's so on patch. I mean, I know it's a patch. I don't know what the design is. Uh, let's see. Ooh, that's hefty. What do we have there? A, term <laughs> a Terminator Genesis brain chip. That's good. I could use that. I wonder if I could get that surgically implanted. Just get it implanted right in the side of my head there to help me out. It's actually a key ring, it looks like. Oh, yeah, but see, this drives me nuts. I'm just going to take that stupid thing off. These things do not hold on to anything. They release so easily, especially as heavy as that brain chip is. That thing is not going to stay on there. This is going to come right off. If I put this on my key ring, which I'm not 100% sure I will. I might just hang it somewhere. But if I do, I am just going to cut that sucker right off there. Because those things never work like they're supposed to. They were a bad idea that just seems to have hung on way beyond their time. Alright, so that's the Terminator Genesis brain chip. And then we've got... Uh, what looks like a circuit board printed pencil case. With a little doohickey on the end. I forget what that's called. Crampon, piton, lanyard. No, it's none of those. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Mountain climbers use them. Not that size, of course. All right, so there is that. Neat little pencil case. I think I'll put my little items inside the pencil case, actually. So they don't get lost. And I know, you younger people, I know it's probably not a pencil case. <laughs> I know it's probably something else. And there's probably some young geek out sitting out there going, Oh, man, screw you. That's not a pencil case. That's a whatever. I don't care. It's a pencil case. I'm old. All right. So next we have our little catalog, our little magazine. So I'm going to take a look at this and see if there's anything interesting about that Terminator skull or what that owl thing is. Oh, neat. I got a world word search. Cool. I like those. Crossword would be better, but 
Uh, let's see. Uh, there's an ad for the Mega Crate. Man, I'm never going to win one of those stupid Mega Crates. Um, well, come on. Where are we? Okay, Terminator Skull. Half-scale cyborg noggin is so highly detailed, you swear it just rolled off the Cyberdyne assembly line. Eh, okay. Uh, Terminator Brain Chip Keychain. Yes, it's true. Two brains are better than one, especially when you're holding one belonging to a new and improved T-1000 Terminator cyborg. Okay, so nothing spectacular. Again, just, uh, just a little goodie. Okay, that is the Future Replicant Corporate Logo Patch AB Emblem. Inspired by the sinister biotech company that made some of our favorite film replicants, this custom embroidered patch can be sewn or ironed onto lab coats, robes, shirts, or backpacks. Wear it and you'll be more human than human. That makes me think that that is from Blade Runner. But it's been so many years since I've seen Blade Runner, I don't remember seeing that logo anywhere. Um, all right. Oh, it's, it's described in here as being a glow, it's a glow-in-the-dark circuit gadget pouch. Okay. All right, so let's see what else we have here. We have, holy cow, that's big. I don't know who that is. I'll have to go back to my catalog for that. But this is a mouse pad. It is a gigantic mouse pad. All right, let's go back to the magazine and see what the mouse pad is. That is the Borderlands, oh, Borderlands Zero Game Mat. Upgrade your game with our 10 by 12 gaming mat designed to improve your precision and responsiveness of all your mouse movements. So he's from Borderlands. I played Borderlands a little, but I really suck at first-person shooters. So for the most part, I really lose my interest in them, except Fear. Fear kept me interested because it had a good story. Here's my little June 2015 button. Going to put that in the pencil. Okay, excuse me, the gadget pouch. Uh, now we've got some, I, and I accidentally saw these in my catalog, so I know what they are. But I'm going to open them up here anyway. We have got Battlestar Galactica, Cyborg, or excuse me, Cylon, Cyborg. Jeez, with my brain. Cylon target practice posters. So if I get like a Nerf gun or something, I can I can use the Cylon for target practice. Of course, he's a, I like the Cylons from the new Battlestar Galactic. I thought they were pretty cool looking. I'm not sure I'd want to shoot one of them. Um, let's see, is the other one the same? Yeah, it might even be fun to just hang these up somewhere and throw darts at them. Let's see. Yeah, he looks, or is he an old Cylon? Nope, just the same. Okay. All right, so we'll put the Cylons back in their little envelope here. Make clay balls or something to throw at them. And we have stickers. I believe these are stickers. Yes, these are stickers. These are Nerd Machine stickers. These are pretty cool. I like these. Viva la Nerdolution. I like that one. See the one with the glasses up there? That's very cool. I like that one. So here are the Nerd Machine stickers. Although, I gotta say, I'm old school. When you're showing a bunch of robots and stuff, I tend to think more geek than nerd. <coughs> when we first started uh, using the terminology in, a, in an endearing way, geeks were people that were into computers and electronics, and nerds were people that were into books and stuff like that, books and movies. And good old me, I'm just a dork, which means I pretty much enjoy a little of all of it. And then the box this month has got some Terminators in the bottom. I'm sure there's something else to do with it because the bottom folds out and up. Maybe it's like a little, uh, I bet it's a little diorama to set your skull in. Odd as that sounds. Okay, so that's the loot crate for June. Not bad. Um, nothing blow my mind away amazing, but some neat stuff. Uh, next month's crate, I am really seriously looking forward to next month's crate. 
I am hoping I may have to cancel my Loot Crate subscription, but I hope not before I get it. But next month's crate is going to be right in my wheelhouse. It's exactly the sort of thing I have been hoping for ever since I subscribed to Loot Crate. It's called Heroes 2, and it's going to contain, among other things, something from Star Trek, something from The Legend of Zelda, and a DC Universe figurine. So you got three of my favorite geek items right there, and so I'm crossing my fingers, hoping that I'll be able to get this next month's Loot Crate and bring a nice Loot Crate uncrating to you guys. So that's it. That's the crate for June. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't, eh, too bad, don't watch anymore. But uh, so long, and thanks for all the fish.